Hello! Today we'll continue working with branches. I'm currently in the branch feature 1, which I created from the main branch. Here I will write some changes. With this command I will add a line to the readme.txt file. Let's imagine we have been working, made commits and, for some reason, we need to check the uncommitted changes in the working directory compared to the last commit. In the previous lesson we learned how the div command works with branches and shows differences. We also looked at specific commits using their hash. Today I will show you how div works with changes in real time. So I'm going to see what I have done and what I haven't added yet to the staging area yet. How to do this? By using the git div command. This command displays the uncommitted changes in working directory compared to the last commit in this branch. These changes have not been added to the index or staging area yet. After we've seen the added line, I will execute the command git div staged and we won't see anything, because this command shows the difference between changes already added to the staging area and the current commit. We'll add this to the staging area and without making a commit we'll go for coffee. Then coming back we forget what we added, what we indexed, what will go into the commit. We need to check somehow. Here the div stage command comes in handy, showing the difference between the last commit and the saved changes, as well as the already indexed or staged changes. We see the same line. Remember that we already looked at this and calmly commit. Now if we execute div staged, it won't show anything, because we committed and there are no changes compared to the previous commit. The same applies to the git div command. It also won't show any changes, because there is nothing in the working directory that we haven't added or committed. So we switch to the main branch and merge these changes. I remind you that when you are in the branch you want to merge changes into, in our case main branch, you execute the git merge command and specify the branch from which you plan to take all these changes. A merge commit is created and we can either rewrite the message or leave it as it is. In the previous lesson we created another branch, feature 2. I will now switch to that branch. Here we can see that we have three commits. One is the init commit borrowed from main when creating this branch and two commits made specifically in this branch. Also note that we have a new file app pi and in the readme file we see only hello. So the feature 2 branch has a completely different state. Now I'll add one more line to the readme file and commit it. After this, we switch to the main branch and attempt to merge these changes. Again, in the main branch, we execute the git merge command and specify the name of our feature to branch. What we see is that we encounter our first conflict. Specifically, where we added a line in the feature to branch, there is already something written in the main branch. So now that we've added one more line in the feature 2 branch, they conflict with each other and to complete our merge we have to resolve these conflicts. We go to the files with conflicts, identify and fix them. We choose what we want to keep. When I open the file we can see a visual representation with markers indicating the current state and below we see that we'll get from the feature 2 branch. So the changes that we are about to merge, it turns out that two lines from two different branches coincide in location but differ in content. In almost any editor you can choose to accept all incoming changes or keep what you currently have in the branch and reject these changes 
or keep everything that you currently have and the changes coming in. In this case, Git will automatically resolve these conflicts, leaving all information from both branches. You can also compare these changes and see exactly what needs to be resolved. On the right, we have our feature to branch from which we are merging changes, and on the left, our current branch. When you click Resolve in Merge Editor, the Merge Editor opens in Git Graph. This allows you to manually resolve conflicts during branch merging. In the Merge Editor, you can review the difference between conflicting versions of the file and choose which changes to keep. You can delete, modify or merge different parts of the code as needed. After resolving conflicts and saving changes, you complete the branch merging process. Since not all of your work in Git Graph, today I will resolve conflicts directly in the file itself. I plan to keep this line from the Feature 2 branch and also keep everything we currently have in mind branch. So we go to the files with conflicts, identify and fix them. We choose what to keep and if they start conflicting with each other in terms of location and both are needed, we leave everything just making slight changes. Now git status will show us our new changes. We made them manually in the readme file, leaving everything from the main branch and adding changes from the feature to branch. We add the changes and make a commit. In the git graph, it's very convenient to see the difference. Now in the feature 2 branch, we look at the readme file and here we see our hello and our commit. Meanwhile, if we switch to the main branch and look at the readme file, it will show us everything we just did. Those changes that were there before and our last line that we added from the feature 2 branch. Now I want to introduce you to a very useful command. But I have to do some preparation. So let's return to our feature to branch and switch to it. Here in the app py file, let's imagine I want to delete a function and I do that. After removing the second print, I will add these changes and commit them. Then I'll switch back to the main branch and merge these changes. The git log command will show our last commit where we merge feature 2 with our main branch. Now there is another command I want to introduce you. Every time you perform operations like moving, creating or deleting commits or branches, git stores this action in the ref log. This allows you to restore the repository state to the previous points or go back to commits that were deleted or overwritten. It keeps the latest values of each pointer in the repository over a certain period. Primary use cases for reflog include recovering accidentally deleted branches or commits that were accidentally deleted or rewritten. It can also be used for recovering branches after wrong merge operations. I should note that reflog is stored in your local repository and is not published when collaborating with remote repositories. Now imagine that I regret making this merge and I urgently need to fix it. Ideally, I want to do this without anyone noticing, so nothing remains in the history. Currently, I'm at the merge branch feature to commit and I need to roll back one commit. I'll execute the git diff command and specify the commit hash to which we need to roll back. As you can see, the current commit differs from what I specified, specifically by the absence of that print line. This is the state of the app py file that we need. The git reset hard command in git is used to reset the state of your working directory and commit history to a specific point. When you perform a reset hard, 
you tell Git to completely change the state of your working directory and consequently the history of your commits to the specified point. All unsaved changes in your working directory will be lost and your branch will be moved to the specified commit. Therefore, before using reset hard, you need to be sure that you understand which changes will be lost. Voila, our second print is back. We cancelled its deletion and look, our merge commit is gone, we don't see it. If we execute git log, we'll see that the main branch stopped at the fix conflict commit just as it was before the merge. As I mentioned, the git reflog command will show what we've done here. We see our reset and moving indicating our return to the commit 44f18. This is the beginning of the hash of that commit to which we we'll roll back. By these actions, we see another commit, the one in which we merged feature 2. So this action is not without consequences. After performing reset hard, you irreversibly delete all changes, but that's not entirely true. Be careful not to get confused. Now let's undo the revert of merging feature 2 and do it in a way that git log doesn't show all the crazy path in the commit logs. We messed up, created trouble and left the history clean. We go to reflog. Copy the hash of the commit we need, namely merge branch feature 2, and again execute the git reset hard command with the hash of our commit. And look, we have exactly the graph we had before all this mess. Commit names and their hashes remain the same. Of course, I don't recommend doing all this because using reset hard can cause trouble. But if you are already in it, you should know what to do. There is another command reset soft. Let's get acquainted with it. The git reset soft command is used to undo the last commit, but leaves changes in your working directory and index. We'll do the same and do the merge feature too again, but this time using the git reset command with the soft flag. We execute the git reset soft command and specify the hash of the commit, the previous commit before we merge changes from feature 2. When you execute git reset soft, git moves your branch to the previous commit, keeping all changes. Look at what we have done here. Git reset soft and did the merge of our feature 2. All changes, namely the removal of the second print, were also undone with it. However, these changes didn't disappear. Unlike the case with reset hard, they remained. Currently we see them as staged changes that we can commit, undo or delete. You can do anything with them. In other words, git reset soft provides more flexibility and safety, meaning your changes will stay in the working directory and can be stored or modified. This command is useful when you've made a commit, but then realize that something needs to be added or changed in this commit, or if you simply want to fix the commit message. Git reset soft does not alter your changes in the working directory or the index. They remain unstaged, and you can restage and commit them in the future commit. For today that's all. See ya!